This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view in 3, A2, A1. Can you please be on All Stars 5? Please? Hell no, I ain't doing no goddamn All Stars 5. Nina, you're on. Okay, oh, I'm Nina, Bo Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Pierre, AKA Nina Bonina Banana Fafana Osama Bin Laden Brown. And we are back for, I'm, don't quote me, but this is gonna try to be a two part raw view since I'm behind. Um, some of y'all know I was um, in New York and so I wasn't able to raw view the last um, Paint It With Raven and also the last episode of RuPaul's Drag Race. So forgive me, um, but I know some of y'all, I know most of y'all understand, but so yeah, I'm, you know, you guys, I'm going to tell you, this is kind of hard for me to do, but before we get into that, remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get boot, um, get the boot, yeah, just, you know, keep it cute in the comment section, but um, yeah, so, you know, I had the booking in New York, and thanks to everyone out there who truly have been rooting me on from the beginning, you know, not just coming around now because they see people might like you but people who have been rooting for me from the beginning whether you can make it there or not um just the fact that y'all have been believing in me when i really truly sometimes don't see it for myself especially like these past few days and thanks for the ones who did come out y'all showed out y'all made it seem like it was a beyonce concert <laughs> y'all really did like y'all really showed out like it was amazing to see you know because i don't know what to expect because in my mind it's been so damaged that people are going to come there and be hateful or that people won't show up you know so um just to see and that everybody was for the most part reciting my raw view intro you know even though we did change it around a little bit <laughs> No, seriously. And I did do a whole plog, you know, I call it my petty vlog, and that you can catch um, on YouTube. So, yeah, and thanks for, you know, the people who were there to help me out, you know, Squishy, Ronaldo, making sure I don't fall apart, because y'all, my mind, I almost want to cry now a little bit, but I'm trying not to, I'm trying to, like, really keep it together. I have been so stressed out, guys, I'm sorry. I'm trying to like not embarrass myself on here. I'm trying to like, it's hard for me to, me to even do this raw view, but I'm trying to get some work out there. But I have not been in the best just health mentally and even just like physically just feeling just tired. So I'm trying to do this for you guys throughout even though emotionally i don't really feel like doing it but i'm trying to do it for you guys um so we're going to read tips and comments and all that and i am booked again Which, you know, you know, I don't want to get too much into it of 
part of the reason they kind of made me spiral down. I don't want to get too much into it, but it was, it's, it's just a case of, I think because I haven't done it in so long, for one, it really is like draining in a way. Because I kind of really was on the verge of not really wanting to do drag. Like, y'all see, I haven't wanted to shave. And it's just mostly because secretly I became that person who, like, feels like if I cut my hair off, I don't feel attractive anymore. And I never was that person. I used to hate people who feel like they need their facial hair just to be cute. But, like, it's not just that, but it's also just me enjoying being Pierre and just enjoying me. And I'm like, if bookings are coming like that, then, yeah, I'll shave because it's worth it, you know? But, um... That's why I did the poodle look, um, because, and somebody have the nerve to say, oh, she's hiding her face or just being lazy. Do you know how much work it takes to do that? That takes a lot of work than just putting on contour and lipstick. Don't get me wrong, it takes work to do that too, because Lord knows I spend more time doing my fishy makeup than I do doing a creative look. It takes more time, honestly. But um, I did that so I could hide my hair and still give, you know, give something. That's, that's the other thing. I don't want people booking me and thinking that I'm going to always be like some crazy creature. I just, I like to be pretty Nina and sexy Nina as well. Even though I make the poodle sexy, I make whatever I do fishy and body and all that, but you know. But, you know, when I got booked, the weird thing was like pretty much the numbers were like 2323, like February, like the third or something like that. And somebody pointed out that those numbers um, in the Bible. Chicken five, five food. food. In, the in the Bible, it says, according, according, to, the according Bible, to the Bible, number, number 2323 three, three conveys, conveys the importance of divine protection, protection and guidance. guidance. It also symbolizes new beginnings, hope, and faith. This number often appears to people who are about to embark on a new journey in life. And I just thought that was so interesting because, you know, I try not to get too hyped into all this stuff. Or whenever I think something good is about to happen to me, I try to downplay it. Because for one, I am a very humble person. Two, I, I've had times where I've got happy about things and spoke about things to my family and things, and then it doesn't work out. And that hurts more. So I would rather downplay it and think kind of negative about it so that way I'm not hurt if it doesn't work out. Um, that number was something, you know, the person that booked me, whatever, which, you know, thanks to him, it was like kind of both of us things are kind of happening and um you know i'm supposed to be having new management now and stuff but then something kind of happened along the lines i don't want to get too much into it but then it kind of just made me down spiral again because i knew it felt too good to be true but, may but nothing has really happened but just something kind of happened to kind of just stifle where now i'm questioning myself and, and who i am as a person when i used to always be like y'all can't tell me who i am you know and thinking do I really want this like fame do I really want this kind of lifestyle where I have to, where I have to feel careful about things I say you know so I could be mainstream you know and y'all know that's not me y'all been following me y'all know I'm just very real maybe I'm too real for Hollywood I don't know so it's just a lot that's just going on just eating at me like I didn't even want to go and like do anything like I, I I'm so overdrained. But enough about that. Um, thank you though for all y'all's guys' support, all those wonderful tips y'all were throwing at me. Um, let's go ahead and read some tips. Actually, it's been a while, so it's it could be a lot of tips. I don't know. It's been a while. Um, but yeah, this will be a this will probably be a painted with raven slash drag race raw view so i can kind of catch up and then the next one should be okay but then again i am going out of town next week and i need to figure out what looks and what songs i'm doing which is eating at me as well because it's like i'm going to new york again i don't want them to get tired of me i don't want to out i don't want to oversaturate myself you know what i'm saying so it's like ugh. but okay thank you michael mentor see i'm too tired and even down to even read you <laughs> well thank you Thank you, Deanda, Deanda Butler. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alyssa Felicella Fachila. Sorry, I forget your name. Thank you, Hunter. Not that one. Thank you, Hunter Mustello. Thank you, Robert Ean. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos Alva. Carlos Alva came to the show. Can y'all believe it? He flew in from Chicago to come see me in New York. 
Um, you can see all that in the plug once again. So thank you, Carlos, for actually showing your face. He's not RuPaul. <laughs> thank you, E Zen. Thank you, Dr. Stevo. Thank you, Jadon, John Helen. I cannot pronounce this. Thank you, Pong Sathorn, Mong Chan. Mong Chan. <laughs> thank you, Vegas. Thank you, love. Thank you, Tamara Fedosiva, as always. Thank you, Ryan Story, as always. Thank you, Doug, for tipping me. I appreciate that. Thank you, Kingsley, for the love. Thank you, Jack Ellis. Thank you, Joseph Anglesby. Girl, I'm going to tell y'all that's the kind of guy y'all see on OnlyFans. <laughs> Thank you, Jay Home Cardenas, Card Cardenas, Cardenas. Thank you, Heather Stewart. Thank you, Michael Galv. Thank you, Gonzella Garcel Del Campo. You know, I like you know, I love saying your name. Thank you, John Lynn, and thank you, Paul Strangeland. This is from one thing. Thank you guys for tipping me on this app. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jesus Hernandez. Thank you so much. Thank you. Tariq Jones for tipping me here and in person and for I'm mad I'm mad that when I danced on you you didn't have a heart on like who doesn't have a thing for poodles in lingerie I don't understand that's another thing can y'all stop with this furry stuff like like I am not no ma'am like it's just when I do an animal or something like that I'm just doing an animal I'm not thinking about furries I'm just like I'm a poodle this time or if I do a giraffe I'm a giraffe and people have an issue when I do a monkey look. But I'm like, those of y'all that have issues with monkey looks, y'all might have personal racism within yourself. Because to me, it's just a monkey. Like, when y'all watch Planet of the Apes, do y'all think it's racist? I don't get it. So if you're seeing me as a monkey and you're thinking, oh, a black person, that's your own personal issues and not mine's. Because there's nothing wrong with being the queen of the jungle, you know. Thank you. Is it Kaya? Kaya Stemmel? 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 Thank you for the good tip. Thank you, Tanisha Ashby. Thank you, Demetrius Leggett. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah Lutero. Not the one dollar. <laughs> Girl, but you know, you look, I be saying your name enough, so I ain't gonna read you too bad. <laughs> Thank you so uniquely me for the good tip. Thank you, Emily Brewer, love. Thank you, Nathan, for the good luck in New York. Thank y'all for all the luck and all the prayers because it, it worked out surprisingly. Thank you, Cameron Smith. Thank you, bringing breath mints and poppers. <laughs> John Lucchetti. Oh, that was you. <laughs> was that you who I said, whose breath smelled Caucasian? <laughs> Thank you, Richard Matchman. Thank you, Alley Cat. Thank you, Mom Momo F. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joshua Murray. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joseph Torres. Thank you, George Maracinu for the luggage. Girl, that Delta tore up. And I have to get more luggage from them. I mean, like they broke the zipper, but still the point is I let them get away twice with tearing up my big old suitcase I had. You know, they just throw stuff around. And I'm like, not this time. Even though it's just a zipper, y'all still gonna like reimburse me. Thank you, Heather Gans. Thank you, Teresa Love. Thank you, Thomas Pina, as always. Oh, thank you, Justin Miller. Oh, okay, you tipped that because you couldn't make it. Your breath still stink though. Thank you, Nathaniel Hobson. Thank you, Kara Perez. Thank you, Jose Vitas, Vitas, Vitas. Thank you, Dr. Dakari. Dakari. Uh, all these doctor, Dr. Stevo, Dr. Dakari. Girl, when you come to Palm Springs or Oakland to perform. Not you're in Palm Springs. Money, honey, trust. I'll come if you could set up an appointment for me to get my face injected. I want to have jaw bones sticking out the side of my face. I want to have my cheekbones sitting behind my ears. So if you can get me an appointment to get my face done, then cool. Thank you, Andre Bennett. Thank you, Spencer Hardy, love. Thank you, Spencer. Thank you, Orlando Arroyo. Thank you so much, Arroyo. Thank you, Zach H. Thank you, NR. Thank you, James Strive. Thank you so much. Thank you, M. Oh, I said, I said it before, but thank you, Emily Brewer. Thank you, Gustavo Alvero, as always. Thank you, Justin Cambridge. Thank you for the good tip. Thank you, Christopher Duran. And thank you, Michael S. Thank you guys for all the wonderful, fabulous tips. Um, thank you, because it helps me get my stuff together for shows and raw views and 
and and to eat and to live and you know so i always thank y'all because and say y'all's names because y'all don't have to even though i threaten y'all and you should do it but still um and i know most of y'all do it out of fear of being blocked and you should be scared but still um i thank y'all for for doing it thank you and if you'd like to tip me all the information will be in the description box down below i'm not gonna read any comments like i normally do because i'm so behind um we'll do all that when i catch up you know for this for, for the next drag race raw view i think that's everything i'm quite sure i probably have some random things to blurt out but this video is already going to be long especially if i'm doing two parts and I don't want to make it any longer. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm starting it with Paint It With Raven. Um, and then I'll do Drag Race after. So if you don't want to watch this or you want to skip the beginning of the Raw View, that's on you on your own time to skip it through. I don't do timestamps here. And we remove timestamps. Because in my opinion, and most people will agree here, that they come here for me. And I think I feel like the ones who come here for just for Drag Race solely are the one who are like, you got timestamps? They don't care about my day. They just want to watch Drag Race stuff. So I don't do timestamps. You know, if your attention span is that short, sorry. I mean, and I understand because sometimes I watch things and I'm like, girl, where are the timestamps? So I get it. And I'm not knocking you for liking that, but I just personally don't do it on my channel. Um, so you can skip through until you find what you want to watch. <laughs> so yeah, I'm starting it with Painted with Raven, so... Um, oh, I forgot, and Tucker did tell me something. So, me and Tucker were speaking. Because, um, you know, and shout out, shout out to Tucker again, because Tucker comes here and watches the raw views, and he doesn't get, or, you know, I, I think you said you're he, or I'll say they, you know, they don't get offended um, at what I say, because they know me, and they, know, and, they, and they admire my art, so I guess they respect my opinions. They don't get mad at my little jokes or whatever, or if I don't like a look, they don't get mad about it. And thank you for that, for being, you know, a strong person and being able to handle that. Um, but pretty much we were talking about how, like, the judges be liking things. that I'm like, how do y'all like that? But y'all don't like these other looks. And he was saying that I guess because they, they see it over a Zoom call, over a Zoom quality first. You know, instead of the edited and all that, maybe they're going off of that. But even then, I'm like, it's still questionable because, like, but still, though, that look was better the other time. You know, so that's a little insight. Oh, this is funny. When I got back, you know, I was like, oh, my God, things really are changing. I'm being reached out to by people for bookings. <laughs> Somebody for 16 followers, mind you, though. It says Face Off Guyana. So I'm thinking, like, oh, uh, Face Off in Guyana, Africa? I'm like, is that even a thing? <laughs> Say, hello, my name is Deborah, and one of the, my organizers for an SFX pop-up event in Guyana, South America. I'm like, South America? <laughs> you have such a great eye for details. And a wonderful body of work. Would you be interested in becoming a judge for our event? Do let us know the email. I'm like, I don't know. It's like, you, I don't be jumping into things. I'm just like, Guyana? And 16 followers? I don't know. So I didn't. That's another story. <laughs> I thought I'll put that up. Ariana, you are the winner of this week's Quick Paint Challenge. So yeah, Ariana did win the last week's Quick Paint Challenges. And actually, we're, this is our this is the second episode from the last, so we're almost there. My mind is just like... They really be going in for this Zoom call show. But, like, but I always say, because a lot of people feel like it may be their only thing to get out there, so it is big to them. But watching it, it's like, girl, you know, like, it ain't face-off, it ain't skin wars, but, you know... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I forgot about Selena at the end. I still haven't been in the bottom yet. Uh, I still haven't even won a challenge. Not in the bottom. You haven't won a challenge. You're just floating. You're floating in the middle, mama. It's Raven Hunties. Welcome to. This look, um, like, it's definitely looks like some, like, maybe outer being thing, but. I don't think I like it that much. I don't. I, I don't know. Like it. It makes it look older versus like interesting, you know. But it's kind of cool. But then I kind of don't like it. What do y'all think about it? The first competition show where makeup artists compete from their home. Speaking of makeup, I saw that Bob and Monet have their own makeup thing together. And now, before I get into the other parts, congrats on that. But now I just learned that 
you don't even have to really be a makeup person and not and not and, and not just from them but just in general you don't even, you don't even have to really be a makeup person to have a makeup line these days i'm quite sure secretly they all they all use the same like warehouse kind of like stuff that put kimchi in them no i'm not reading but i'm quite sure they, they, they use the same thing and then stamp their name on it or whatever but it's like I used to be like, oh, you have to really be a makeup artist. You have to really be into makeup and creative to have a makeup line. It's like, no, you don't. Just be popular and that's all it takes. Okay, so the the little quick challenge thing is do a look inspired by Lick to Shine. <laughs> lick to Shine. Try saying that 10 times fast. But build it around a big luscious lip. This is okay, but it's not clean. Like, you can look at the neck part, so the left part of the neck. Like it's and maybe he ain't had enough time, but like it's like faded out and kind of just blotchy. Even the lines are kind of blotchy. Um, the lip is full, so I'll give him credit for the lip. I do like the contour by the ear. Um, definitely, this is kind of hard to do because like you're trying to do black and white but not mix it together. I like the little pow moment, but it could be better. Mama, Miss Lauren, she said a full lip. Now, maybe if your lip is smaller than this, then you really have no lips. Like, if this is her idea of a full lip, then mama, you have no lips. <laughs> like, where's the lip? Like, the rest is like, okay, cool. Like, I like the rest of it. But where's the lip, though? Like, I have to knock off credit for the lips because it's like, where's the lip? But I do like the, blow, the blue shadow crease over there on the white side than the white part on the blue side. But yeah, where's the lip? Step and show. <laughs> Really, Joe? Really? <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, does Joe care? I'm just like, where? I mean, you literally just put some white dots on your face and then do a couple of, like, I don't think he does too many different kind of makeup looks. Like, I don't feel like you tried. I really don't. And the lip is not that full to me either, but it's a nice shape to it, but it's not as full. Up next, Audi. Okay, Adi, I like this. It's giving a little nod to the Marilyn Mon Monroe moments with the little pop art Marilyn Monroe, but her own hair. I love the lips. I don't. I wouldn't say they're full, but the lips are cool. So it's like, I, I you know, I'm not getting like full lips, but it's it's cool. You know, like I, the bottom part seems a little like, uh, you know, but then again, she focused on her face more, which I I, I understand and get. So I'm definitely going to, I definitely like this look. It's very, yeah, it's very cool. I like her different concept on it. Tucker up, Tucker. Some now, Tucker, this looks like you got a disease and I'm itching. It like you had a rash, especially on the other side. It's like a rash. Oh, I think you're biting off too much more than you can chew, mama. Like it really looks like an infection. It does. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I can't look at it long. I really can't. I'm, I'm like getting itchy, itchy. This is close to what we just saw with Chicken Man. And honestly, maybe I like Chicken Man's better. The lip is full, though. The lip is full. Because uh, some of these spots are just so literal. Like, it doesn't look like it's like meant to be a comic. It just looks like spots. If that makes sense. And he, he loves doing a sad, a sad frowning expression. Like, even when he did the gluttony whatever it was or whatever he had to do um whatever his sin was and other stuff but yeah like definitely the lip is full serving some lippy lip yeah the white is definitely patchy or something like it, it doesn't look smooth it doesn't look as smooth yeah, it looks a little patchy next up elena okay elena um, okay, so this would have been cool, but there's something so mute about it. It's very mute. A little like, it's, it's, it's mute. I think it, need, it needs more vibrancy or something. Like, it's kind of dull, in my opinion. Like, even the blue is dull. The pink on the left side looks vibrant, but on the eye part, the, the eye part is like dull. Yeah, the dots are flat. Um... It's, yeah, it's washed out. To me, yeah, it's it's washed out. The spots on the lips are a little messy. But it's hard to do round circles on your face like that. So, I mean, I'm just, you know, just I'm just critiquing, you know, if I was a judge. Um, I like the eye, though, on the neck. The eye is pretty. Like, it's not bad. It just could be more finesse. That's all. Hey, did you guys work together? <laughs> exactly. 
See, looking at it together, who do y'all think did better, in your opinion? We are almost to the finale. It's literally a week away. Oh, nobody cares. <laughs> Whenever, like, Raven's trying to be excited, everybody looks so dead. And why would y'all show him out of everybody? He never smiles or look happy. <laughs> like, we're going to today's finale. Everybody's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Bitch! Dang, Tucker looks scary just now. <laughs> That could be a major game changer. Oh my gosh. Wait, and did she say add in 10 points to their final score? Okay. Ari, you are the winner of... She deserves it. I think Ari's going to win this whole thing. Like, even when she falls into the bottom and has to do the little quick thing, like, she kind of make, be the best one for the most part. I think she's going to win the whole thing. I think so. But she definitely deserves this one, for sure. And if not her, then Lauren. To call Elf. How many of y'all actually used to watch Elf with his big bonkers? That was one big bonkers alien, okay? And you know he had nerve to be a top. Don't y'all hate that when the tops have a big old bubble butt and have a nerve to be tops? And then the bottoms, or the <laughs> more femme guy, has the big schlong, but they want to be a bottom. Gays are so backwards. At Anastasia Beverly Hills. Hello, artist. But at least Raven chose to go back to her foundation in the middle part. So we could tell that she is still white, you know? So they have to do a l alien look incorporating a prosthetic and stuff. I feel, like they, I feel like some of them have already done alien looks throughout, but um, yeah, let's see. My dad has been an artist. <laughs> That's cool. Her dad being a makeup artist as well. <laughs> that is really cool. Oh, that has to be fun. He can draw anything. It's funny, I try to draw and I can't. That's how I started. I started drawing. Um, I, used to, I, oh, I used to draw so much. I had book papers, posters filled with art. Especially back then when I used to draw like all my favorite music artists. And I used to draw a lot of fashion clothing. For real. Like I drew so much. It was a passion of mine. Um, and then one day, I, I remember a car I had. Something got impounded or something. And I had all my most of all my pictures in the trunk and I never was able to get it and that really really discouraged me and then I started kind of doing drawing and doing makeup and then just drawing it on my body and my face you know but I did lose that passion for like drawing on paper in a way I still could do it but you know the more you don't do something that I think it kind of does go away a little bit I'm sure if I wanted to I could but I don't have that passion and another weird thing I used to always have a have a habit drawing too big Especially on like paper, I could always I always drew too big. Like, oh. When I popped in, I was like, I was like Girl. why did I thought I looked down? I thought they put like a green screen filter over Q's mouth, and somebody was speaking with lips, but it was a green screen. But he took some of his makeup off. Full <laughs> art. So let me do something that's not. And secretly, I hate taking off white makeup or just like black because. It'd be a mess. It'd just be gray. Your face looks, oh, it's just, it's, it's a mess. I just want to be the winner just because, like, it gives me validation. It's like, the older I get, and I hear people say stuff like that, and even though we all want to win, I'm starting to realize that, and, 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 and don't quote me, because I'm quite sure if I was getting to a competition again, maybe I might, but even when on season nine, I wasn't like, I'm going to get the crown. I'm competitive, you know? But it is sad that we really feel like if we don't win something, that whatever we do is not important or it's not validated. And like for me, it was like, I have to have RuPaul say she loves me and knows me for me to feel validated. When in reality, it's like, it's nice to hear, but it's really not that important. Like, I know it's weird to say that, but it really is not that important. Because it's like, nobody can tell you how good you are it's good to hear from people but it's like that doesn't mean that you need somebody like that to validate you or or you need to win something in order to like feel don't get me wrong winning is nice but I'm just, i think it's just the older i get i'm just like it's not really that important you know honestly you are impressive your work is very ill <laughs> Is she coming for my Squidward gig that I that went viral? I <laughs> it's me, Squidward. And I'm going to go from a power bottom to a top. Hit me on grinder.
You must have a face pic if you want to get with this. <laughs> I hate this, but so far it's so well done. It's so well done, but I hate it. <laughs> she looks like a spoiled green pea. I can't. I I love the eyes. The eyeshadow is really good. I love the speckles of green to make it look like skin. You know, to really give that kind of fleshy tone to it. It's not just like paint. You know, it's like, oh, okay, this could be skin. <laughs> My uncle passed away last year from ALS. And... I like that her uncle turned green. But that's... She's doing this in honor of him. Oh. And there is no cure for it yet. So I'm oh, you done messed your makeup up, girl. And that's, sometimes, that, sometimes that'd be hard to fix. Stop crying. You messed your makeup up. Whether I make it to the finale or not, I'm already a winner. I yeah. He already knows that he's not going to win. Well, you look crazy. <laughs> Good what? And Casper's condom. When he got done and it floated away. Hey, Lena. <laughs> Hey, Raven. Hey, Raven. <laughs> hey, Raven. That's where everybody does this paper stuff now, and they don't be doing it right for the most part. Because <laughs> so far, I'm like, girl, I mean, but I mean, it's not done yet. Maybe it'll blend in more. I don't know. <laughs> but I do like the spikes so far and the blend from the sh from the neckline and the cl the clavicles to the chest, you know. Uh, is this another chicken? I'm kidding. Uh. <laughs> it is. It is kind of looking like a chicken so bad. <laughs> Made out of no way, and this. It you know, I'm getting hungry watching this. Um, Quarius sent me some. You know, my, my my cupcakes that I love. But it was a random little bag of this in the in the box. Did you see it? And it was the light is bright as always. But it's vinegar, <laughs> vinegar what? I can't see the rest of it. Vinegar something. It was like vinegar twist. Like if, if it was Cheeto twist, but it's vinegar twist. So let's see really quick. Ah, uh, smells like my feet after the poodle look. That's why Ronaldo sniffed it. It reminded him of home. Ew. I mean... They're kind of good, but funky. It's like eating Cheetos and feet at the same time with a little bit of vinegar. Now, Tucker, you are literally. This is giving me what um what what what's her name? Hungry, yeah. Thank you, Hungry. Her name's Hungry. Describe your beauty. I want to. I still don't know why she was crying over that. <laughs> I think I do know why she was crying. I think she must have got in her ear that Raven. This is the last season. And then it made her emotional. Sometimes prosthetics absorb makeup different than your skin. That is true. Prosthetic in your skin is so different. I think they, I think they even recommend like doing grease makeup for prosthetics, but I'll be using whatever, but it is hard to work with. I've been inspired by Tucker's work. And I wanted to use paper and color it in. Not Tucker's work. <laughs> Tucker, I hope you said to her, well, actually, Nina Melina Brown is the one that kind of done all this, but... Girl, I can't. <laughs> See, this is how it happens. People pe people think other people are the ones who created these things. And it's like, excuse you. <laughs> Wait, I forgot. Sorry. A lion did it first. A lion did it first. And then I was second. It's going to be really, really vibrant and really, really spiky. And hopefully she likey. They don't call him Q the chicken seuss for nothing. Oh, Lauren looking really good, mama. Gosh. Inside, you will find Oh, these prosthetics so far. And I'm not even so far. I think, like, that's it. I can already tell that I was like, yeah, it's about to be really rough. Prosthetics are rough to work with. I think he made those prosthetics. It's all about the edges, and it's so hard to do it. Even me, I have my downtime sometimes with it, you know, but I can already tell, like, yeah, this is a little rough. <laughs> so now they have a box full of, I guess, really dramatic lashes, 301s and 3001s, and they have to add accessories to them. I like Lauren's look probably without any lashes, but she got to do it, I guess. That many people are interested in all three fields, meaning beauty, special effects, and body. She's telling the truth. Some people are just stuck on one thing. Me today is Emmy winning makeup artist Natasha. From far away, I thought it was, it was a Michelle. 
<laughs> I guess I really am truly not into the makeup realm because I don't even know any people. I'm not reading, but like, you know, maybe it had I had felt like I was welcomed into the makeup realm on YouTube and stuff. I probably would have been more into it, but I'm like, who are these people? Yes, me up. Ooh. She seems so rehearsed. <laughs> She's like, huh, what will the drag queen say? Uh, uh, beat me up. Uh, alien in the sky. Uh, I'm so into voguing right now. Oh, RuPaul's Drag Race. Huh, my favorite drag queen. Huh. Like, she's really feeling it. Or on the block who got fertilized a little bit too many times. Not the paper are not sticking on the face. <laughs> What? Is this what you were really going for at first? I mean, like, it's kind of... Is that a vagina up top? Right, the paper is not glued to the face. It, okay, it kind of looks like a cool graffiti kind of thing. Like, I can see this being like some kind of graffiti somewhere. You know, they that kind of thing going on. But it could... Be, it's a little messy a little bit i guess it is alien i just don't know what to look at honestly i like the lip i don't know <laughs> oh she got her neon light moment ow i honestly this isn't bad but i liked it just how plain it was i really don't think it needed all this you know it's, a, it's those moments when, when when people say less is more and I think this is one of those moments. And I have a habit of doing that too. I'm like, oh, let me add this. Let me add that. Let me add this. I still like this. It's probably it's probably gonna be my be be my favorite one. She even looks like um that Martian guy from the Flintstones a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think she needed all the extra. I think it was fine how it was. I really do. Ribbon on the forehead just to symbolize my uncle. Oh, okay, she she did the ribbon for the uncle. She probably could have just put that on her chest, actually. Put the ribbon on her chest. But I think she also wanted to hide the bald cap line. I see you, queen. <laughs> oh, I know those days where you have the bald cap and it's not that perfect. Like, oh, let me add some stuff here so so, so, so people won't clot my tea. Ew. <laughs> Girl, Nikki didn't turn himself to a black man who's... Who's cosplaying as Missy Elliott, but Missy Elliott's cosplaying as a, as an alien. <laughs> There's something about this that is like, wow, like it looks like a creature. <laughs> now these are the full lips, girl. You need it for the lick and shine thing. Oh my, like this really could be Missy Elliott in a video, like like in her videos talking to me, where it was very in that video, it was very it was very Mega Man. She had Mega Man, and they were in space. This, this, Ooh ah, suck it to me like you want to. Ooh, I could see this in that in that video. <laughs> I kind of like this. I kind of like it. It's it caught me off guard. Like ooh, but I kind of like it. <laughs> oh, Rooster Man did pretty good. Okay, Rooster Man. I mean, I can see the prosthetic where it begins a little bit on the cheeks, but whatever. I like this better than the last, the, the Nikki's. Okay, Rooster Man. Chicken Man said, honey, don't don't play me for a duck, ho. Oh, okay, Chicken Man. I would have just, just redid the look I did for, from Drag Race, my purple alien look. Well, I didn't do that on Drag Race. Did I do that on Drag Race? <laughs> no, I did the other alien, but on Drag Race... No, but that purple look I did, that's, I have a shirt of. Oh, I have it on now. <laughs> I'm wearing it now. I would have just done it. Oh, I did do this look for Drag Race. I did it for the, for the Meet the Queens. Okay. A promo look. Okay. Hoping that she buys it. Please buy it off the shelf. It's brand new. Oh, does he buy, buy it or rent it? Does he watch it? Mm. Joe. This isn't alien to me. It's just like some kind of like maybe glam, like... Edit editorial look, I guess, but I'm not really getting an alien. Elena, serving alien fish. Oh, <laughs> why? I, I paused at the perfect time. Raven just said alien fish, and Elena's like, oh, fish. <laughs> the way I paused it, fish. Oh my my. But no, <laughs> like I kind of like the face. The eyes are kind of badly done, 
and the teeth. Ooh. But 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 it's something about the colors in there that I kind of like. But then the paper on top of the head, like if you're gonna do you paper, need to like, make sure it looks a little more seamless. And then one of the things will kind of push back more than the other. Yeah, this could be better. Elena, everybody was like really hyping uh, hyping her up, but it hasn't really been. Um, she hasn't really been delivering to me, in my opinion. And I'm like, could it be one of those people that online they seem better? I, I mean, I don't know. Or maybe it's just the competition setting where it's like not probably good. Because sometimes, sometimes we don't we don't do good in competition settings, and we just do better in real life, you know. Finally, Ari. You know what's weird? I want more from this. I feel like it's dull. Like maybe she's gonna cut the lights off and it'll look better. But there's something I want more from this. Now, she did a good job with the nails and the fingers and all that right there. Because I hate painting my hands. It's just a mess. You got to grab your phone and stuff. And if she did put those wedges between her fingers, good job. But there's just something about it that I want more. Huh. It's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's kind of flat. There's something flat about it. Okay, I knew I knew it was coming off. <laughs> there go the lights. And I'm still just like, oh, okay. You're like the court jester of space. I love. She looks like a few people to me. I keep looking at her. Like I see a little bit of Vanessa Williams. I see the lady that hosts the the Canadian Drag Race, the black girl. I see somebody. It's like she ha her. She, she, she has the face of a few people. I see a little bit of Jack A. Harris back in her day. And me, we <laughs> very bad. But then where you place the lashes? That's smart, too. You see them? It's fine. Right, girl, same. I still don't see them. I still don't see them. I literally don't see any lashes. <laughs> They're not picking up on here on the camera. I don't see them. It's Nikki Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I really see Missy Elliott. This is Missy Elliott back in her day, like when she was crazy. Oh, y'all seeing her now? She's skinny fish. I don't like skinny Missy. <laughs> I'm happy for her. But I like my big messy, like, cause I feel like I feel like when people start losing more weight, they lose their their talent. Well, not not their talent, but they they lose their essence. They they lose their stuff. They lose like I don't know. It kind of it kind of like goes away a little bit. I'm like, I need my Missy Elliott big. <laughs> All my kind of prints and textures that I added to my skin. What an impact. Well, looks <laughs> that's what I got too, Cam. That they didn't care about her cutting the lights off. She's like all proud, like I want to show you guys what I did. All the texture. It took a lot of time. And Raven are just like, okay. Thanks for sharing. So anyway, who are we picking? <laughs> Yeah, you look fucking iconic. Wow, <laughs> you're you so look, like everyone. Oh, chicken's like, what about me? Baby Yoda, it doesn't really scream out. I don't. What? What? I mean, let's be real. Do you want to F any of those aliens? Like, she looks like an alien. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't get it. I feel like a lot of people. I mean, you find that sexy? And look at the stones up top. They're just up there. I can't. Is feeling herself because actually, this is pretty hot. It's oh, hot. those are three tits, too. I couldn't tell, but she did the same thing. Point. Oh, it's beautiful. I want cheekbones like that. What kind of Android photo? For me, I just feel like there's a lot of void with all of the white. Like, I want some more. Okay, so we're on the same page, finally. But the sex appeal left us wanting Gamora. Speaking of Gamora, uh, I really, I secretly did kill my Gamora look though, but for real, for real. I'm sorry, but you are the bottoms of the week. Okay, Joe, yeah. Ari, I don't know. I think they, I think they want to just shake Ari up a little bit. And will not be moving on to the finale. It's just. Wait, they're not going to the finale? Oh my god! <laughs> I cannot really. Ari didn't make it to the finale. Wow. Girl, this show is a mess. Do not feel bad about it. I'm so fucking sad. Honestly, I'm devastated. He always sounds the same, so I can't tell. <laughs> you and Nikki, you are the tops of the week. What? Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like, these aren't bad, you know, but, but I'm just, like, thinking about the whole competition as a whole. Like, wow. 
FQ. If Q wins this whole thing. <laughs> Ooh, maka, maka, maka. Congrats, though. Finale, girl. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm oh, girl, we all shook. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, so Chicken Man Q, Tucker, and Nikki are in the top finale. I guess the other one's lost, but it'll be there still, I guess. And they have to do three looks. Okay, on to Drag Race. So I've heard two things already. That I haven't watched it yet, but I heard that Sasha called somebody fish or something or mentioned the word fish. And that people are online being like, well, Sasha can say it because she's trans. It's like, no, y'all can't. Y'all are so contradicting. Y'all have an issue when Stephanie said it, but now you're like, oh, but Sasha can say it. Like, no, that's not, that, that's not how it works. It doesn't work that way. That's not how it works. Stop it. Like, stop trying to, y'all will always make it to a way where your favorite can do whatever, but somebody who y'all don't like as much, y'all give a hard time. That's not fair. And then I heard that I guess I've heard that some people are mad at 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 Marsha Marsha now because I guess they think it's her fault that her fans are that way. But then I also heard that um, what's her name? Um, oh my God, Malaysia. And I guess some other people were getting all these racist things. Like I'm gonna go ahead and say her name. Somebody named Nightmare Lover, probably a fake, probably not even her picture. We're going to her account. I guess something happens in the Untucked episode. They're like, your account is next. Never raise your voice to Marsha, you gorilla. They put a gorilla emoji. Um, somebody says, somebody named themselves Death to Malaysia. Say goodbye to your account. Delusional. Apologize to Marsha publicly or else. Sometimes I'm starting to wonder. Oh, somebody says, lose that fat, girl, and bleach that skin. Because you want to be Marsha so bad, you don't have the talent. I would tell you to, K, you know, KYS stands for, but looks like you got that part on check. Have fun with your obesity and diabetes fat. And have fun with no Instagram. Jealousy is a killer, and so is that fat in your body. Keep eating, girl. I almost am starting to think drag race is doing this. I know that's like a really strong, like, opinion to put out there but i can't i know and i know there are crazy people out there but i'm really starting to wonder if it's wowing them doing that just to like i don't know i know that sounds crazy to say but i just can't believe that somebody and and for all we know it could be a black person it could be an asian person it could be a spanish person who knows not a white person but it's sitting down doing this i can't really failing it so i just want me i i'm just saying i don't know but anyway that's a mess I'm like bitch i'm awake so you're just now spice is looking like melina or katana just now for mortal kombat <laughs> winner winner chicken dinner i still love this look on lux oh and i good good news for y'all out there i heard that rupaul drag race is going back to 90 minutes who asked for that I'm assuming that we host show must, must be getting cut off. I'm mad about it. I don't want to watch the 90, 90 minute episodes of all these girls. I was happy they were cutting it short. Dang. And speaking of that, I heard that they allegedly RuPaul's coming out with a show called Drag High for drag queens who are underage. Why? Do, do they not realize that most of the toxic the, the toxic ways come from the younger people? Don't get me wrong, there's some older people too out there, but you're going to make it younger, that means it's going to get even worse. Girl, RuPaul said, girl, I couldn't have my talk show. I couldn't have Drag You. I'm going to find something. Another day, another day. Another day to... Not Jack's turning around on purpose so we can see his um, name on the, on the jacket. <laughs> For this week's Maxi Challenge, we're going to... Oh, I thought RuPaul was wearing pajamas at first. <laughs> I kind of like I kind of like this blazer, though. They'll set your grandpappy's toes a tapping. I don't want to picture my granddaddy toes. I want to provide you with some golden words of wisdom. Don't book Nina. <laughs> Dirty, funky little trucker boo. <laughs> Ew. Oh, well, guys, this is what we have to look forward to. <laughs>
this is what we have to look forward to. Some of y'all, a little while from now, me, five more months. And even, and I'm sorry, even like, <laughs> you have the older guy with the muscles in the back, but then the face is, the face just says, I'm old. <laughs> but you know what? The, kudos on the courage, mama, the courage. Because I wouldn't even come out in Speedos. I remember one time my aunt bought me, some, bought me some Speedos and I never wore them. I said, ew, not Speedos. <laughs> Gonna picture it 1972, good times. Me running down the beach looking like JJ Evans girl saying Dino Might in my Speedos. <laughs> right, true. RuPaul should have walked out too in her Speedos with them. <laughs> I feel like no one wants country just because it's a little on the nose. But with the whole Golden Girls kind of theme, I could see the country kind of working, so. I think the most potential for funny is hip-hop. Oh, not hip-hop is funny. Excuse you. Heavy metal. I'm, I'm literally already wearing the heavy metal hat. I'm not taking it off. That's it. I mean, that's a good reason, I guess. I have a problem with the reason why y'all think y'all have a right to cheat first. Exactly. Let her get punk metal or y'all will all be labeled transphobic. O-C-P. Oh, child, please. For you, I oh, Lord, I see the twinks now. Oh, my God, we have a new thing. O-C-P. Put it down now. <laughs> Y'all, rock, paper, scissors are a hat. Girl, this metal. I have never seen so many black people fighting over heavy metal. And on Black History Month for that. Speaking of that, it is Black History Month. All of you white people watching and non-black people, bow down. And tip me, I deserve it. I deserve it. In memory of Aunt Jemima, Aunt Jessica, Uncle Ben, all of them. Y'all should feel so guilty and tip me. Just for the fact, for the mere fact, honestly. <laughs> See, Mother Maybelline deserves to be here. How are you feeling? I have already. Marsha definitely got that turtleneck from Marshalls, Marshalls, Marshalls. The world is... Okay. Looking good and feeling fine. We don't need men, they waste our time. And okay. I mean, that sounded pretty good. <laughs> okay, Lux. This is definitely one of my favorite. This is definitely one of my favorite. Hey, did that thing just double repeat or is it just me? I, I don't know. Let me see. Can I get Maybelline to come in? Hey, my name is Mary J. Baby, Mother Maybelline on the farm. I had a turkey and a cow and I made my mom a porridge. And then one day George Washington came and he put me on a horse. I said, man, I don't want to leave. I miss my daddy, Paul. Okay, I was able to, she was able to come up. Oh, I think that came from her past life. She's doing the, what is this, the wheelchair thing? See, I'm glad we're editing, editing all of this. Like, do we really have to see this, like, so, some, for real? I know y'all love Drag Race and y'all can't get enough of it, but some of these things that go on is just so long and unnecessary. I feel like it's, I feel like it's great they're cutting it, because, like, I mean, we get it. They have to rehearse and all that. Yeah, like, just, you know, <laughs> get through the show. Uh-oh. In the words of Ronaldo, he wasn't holding his weight. That I'm a boy. Because it was illegal to trick all the military guys. This old lady makeup so bad, so far on these people are a little questionable. <laughs> like a lot of literal lines and I'm like, where's the blending? Need to be unseen by people because we weren't allowed in me. This, this, this conversation is so like secretly forced. It's like, you know, we have to put this out there. Don't forget, Ronaldo did kiss this guy. Ugh, it's time for Beauty and Looks with Nina Bonina Brown. Got my ice cream gloss looking gorgeous. Girl, not Madonna as Me Megan. I can't. And that's in Beauty and Looks with Nina, Bonina Brown. Wait, is that makeup brush part new? Hmm. That's a rude. Looking so angry. This is like, in reality, this outfit is cheap. I'm, and, I, and, and that's just no shade. I feel like anybody could make that. I can make that. I mean, I already have the technique. 
lay on the floor, wrap myself up in it, and glue it. You know, it's it's literally like a piece of fabric that somebody just like tied in the back. And I remember when she started putting on more padding. <laughs> I remember, um, and but I and now she didn't she didn't tie the the George Washington wig in the back to a ponytail. Yeah, I don't like this. The body, like, like the legs look good, the curves look good, but I don't like it as a whole. Megan Stalter. Hi, gay. Doesn't Megan kind of look like a little bit like a, maybe a Caucasian version of Lizzo? I kind of see it. And a little bit of Chloe. <laughs> and I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> Wait, that was funny. I thought she was just giving a compliment. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> no, really, I, I'm really happy to be here. I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> Rue, no, I'm serious. I think you look nice tonight. <laughs> Is that Ginger Minge? <laughs> I'm sorry, mistress. You always looking like somebody else, child. And now I see Ginger Minge. I literally see Ginger Minge. <laughs> So this is the girl group, the country girls first, okay. <laughs> and for some reason, I thought I was Pheromone at the end. Speaking of Pheromone, have y'all seen her? Cause you know, I've been asking every now and then, I'm like, what is Pheromone doing these days? Girl, I swear I, I, swear I can't just go on her page and look for myself. <laughs> but they, she happened to, to pop up on my Twitter. I'm like, I'm like, did Pheromone, did she finally transition, girl? <laughs> I'm like, mama was looking pretty. I'm like, okay, girl. I see you, queen. We just knocked the ball out of the park. <laughs> I think they did a good job. From what I saw. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Yo, what in the U-Haul on bootleg opinions at 75 years old? Girl, I just see a man with blush. <laughs> These old lady makeups are a curse. Now sway, sway, not too hard, don't wanna break. Ah, why that sound kind of sickening so far though? Make some room at the cataracts. I don't wanna break, I don't wanna. Not Jax only does good when, she, when she's an old woman. <laughs> that dang, dang Lu Luca. Luki? Lu Lu girl child. Her, her dang voices, I can't. <laughs> You're gonna get the stick. And she even has the mama fupa. I can't. The fupa. <laughs> okay, RuPaul. Now you want to act like you're tired of the split? Now you're tired of it? Huh? Now you're tired of the split? Girl, I, I thought y'all loved the splits. <laughs> Why aren't you laughing at an old lady doing the split? Uh huh. And I'm kind of offended because I feel like this is going to be me on All Stars. <laughs> they all did pretty good. I think the country one was probably the best one, secretly. That's tie-dye for. <laughs> I feel like they've done tie-dye before, I think. So I think they did. I could be wrong, but it's, it's okay. Like, like, you don't have to have on so much fabric to have a look right, but... I feel like it's missing some stuff. Like, it's kind of, I don't know. I feel like I've just seen her in this wig. And then just, you know, the boy chest and all that. I get it. You know, but, mm, yeah, I don't know. It's just not really enough for me to really be into. Jax, you know. Okay, Jax, looking like a Oompa Loompa wearing a green red lobster bib. Um, No. <laughs> Oh, Jax, you had did good job as the old lady, and then it's this. Like, no, what is what is happening? Like, it's just literally a orange bodysuit. Literally, like, like literally straight out of Amazon, put it on, and you didn't really do much to it to make it look like a like a costume. It's just like, yeah, no. This is okay. Girl, you know RuPaul wants to wear that wig. It's right up her alley. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I, maybe I would like it with a better hairstyle, something like that. I don't know, but it's okay. The Robin Fierce. I'm about to say, who's that white woman? <laughs> Is this Lucy again? Um, I'm not really wild so far by this runway. I'm kind of like, honestly, no shade. Like, meh. Like, I'm just like, yeah. 
I mean, this is this flows pretty. I mean, I'll rent it, but I'm just kind of like, eh. Isabel Brooks. Hey, sis, it's. I don't like this wig. It's like these wigs just look so wiggy when they are when they do this. Like it looks so wiggy. It doesn't look like it's like coming from the scalp. I'm like, I don't know. It's kind of giving me Ursula a little bit. I, I yeah, I'm not really. It's not bad. Like, I, but I don't want to rent it or buy it. You know, I'm just like, I'm I'm just not. I'm not excited by these. Lux, new on. The hair is pretty, but I know these skinny guys like to think like, my body's so skinny, I'm like a hanger, you know, fashion, I'm skinny, I'm fashion, you know, but it's like, just imagine these looks with a little more, with, with actual body. Like somebody who's like actually trying to give me the like illusion, you know? Cause I mean, it is cute. It is cute, but I'm, you know, I'm getting Simone again. No shade. Um, I love the feather. I mean, I'll rent the outfit, but it could be worn so much better, in my opinion. Stevie, well, look what the tide washed in. I kind of like this, and I shouldn't, but I kind of do. She's like a mermaid in a way. I love the wig. I love the makeup, too. I'm going to rent this. It's like, I would never wear it, but I'm going to rent it. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Mom always... Um, Marsha, where's the tie-dye? <laughs> is the red supposed to be the tie-dye? Because this isn't giving me tie-dye at all. I like the little, like, how the dress is naturally cinched. And the blood coming from the nose is cool. But, um, no. It doesn't give me tie-dye at all. Like, had this have been just, like, some other runway? Yeah. I'm going to still rent it, even though it doesn't meet the assignment, in my opinion. Sasha Colby. Yes, honey, this bitch is paint. Thank you, Sasha. Even though it's kind of basic. But it's literal tie-dye. Like, literal tie-dye. Like, I'm going to rent this. Like, I love the headpiece. You know, it kind of looks like this clown bodysuit I was going to wear for the rainbow thing for our, our runway. I'm going to rent this, though. Aura. If Hillary would have... Okay, I'm going to buy this for Aura. I wish it was some breasts because it just it's a straight up man chest, like straight up, like it's just literally as a man chest. But I like this. I like this because it's a different color on tie dye. I would never think to do this color. But her head looks like that dang character from Beetlejuice that had you know the little sunken in head with a, with a big body. That's what she's giving me. <laughs> Spice. You know what they say? No shade to my white family member, Sugar and Spice. But a lot of the looks almost just seem the same. Like, this is tie-dye. And it's cute. I'm going to rent it. It's cute. But I feel like everything just kind of just looks the same. It's like, this is kind of giving me pebbles, you know. But it's like, it's just the same. Like, it's, almost, it's almost like just the same aesthetic. It's like, okay, it's cute. Nothing's wrong with it, but it's kind of the same. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody but that side profile, <laughs> they are looking um kind of bigger there. I don't get tie-dye. I'm getting like 60s mod, like 50s, 60s mod. Very, I got you, too, 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 too. I got you, too, too. They say I'm too black, but I don't have a cat. I got you, too, 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 too. Um, and I feel like I feel like I've seen her wear this already. Like maybe like the same kind of color scheme I saw her wear. Like what she had that kind of hat on her head. Eh, I'm, oh, I don't know. I'm gonna probably pass on it. You know, this episode it seems long, but it's short. So I don't want ninety minutes. Spice. Dang, Spice looks gorgeous. I hate giving y'all compliments. Y'all know I hate it. It burns me inside. But you look gorgeous. Girl, girl, that is a girl, that is a pretty face. Like it's pretty. Like it's really pretty. <laughs> and thanks for drawing your lips, but making them correct. Like not drawing them big and making them look like you eat donuts. But yes, you actually drew a good lip shape. Like for real. But you forgot your lyrics a lot. She's like, girl, did, did, didn't I just walk that duck? Y'all see my lip sync, what do you mean? When you're back there with Marsha and she thinks that her makeup is done, tell her, okay, you're only- <laughs> Oh, <laughs> RuPaul and them are really coming for Marsha. I'm surprised they haven't got RuPaul's page takedown yet. 
I am surprised RuPaul's page is still standing to this day. I'm like, oh. See, I think people wouldn't care as much if RuPaul and them had been doing this throughout the seasons. But for y'all just to be starting all this is like, oh, interesting. And we want to see someone who's fearless. That eyeshadow is so pretty with the glitter being the colors and all that. That's really pretty, Sasha. Oh, good. I could not take my eyes off of you. You... Okay, I guess she's finally getting some spotlight now on the season. And I'm just really happy that I get to be here and they get to celebrate this at home. You know he wants to say, oh, it's hard being so hot. I'm hot. I'm so hot and beautiful. Beautiful. Look at my muscles. Look at my, look at my chest. It's hard. It, it hard to be this beautiful. So, I thank y'all for seeing me. Thank you. Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's Really? Was she the best of everything? I don't know why it, Okay, to be honest, I was kind of in and out watching it and I and I, I saw that she wasn't doing bad but I'm just like, it kind of almost feels like they just gave it to her but congrats, but wow it's like, it's like out of nowhere, like okay, I guess she's okay Okay Challenge Oh, why? I'm sure she wasn't doing that on purpose, but it like Anitra was smiling and went right to a nasty face like, ew. Oh my God. The camera really picked that up really good. I can't. But Anitra kind of already has a stank face. <laughs> okay, Jack looked like she about to go to a Nickelodeon award and get slimed. So Jax and Robin are in the bottom. Uh oh, this should be a good lip sync though. If it's a good song, we'll see. I don't know this song, but Robin's already giving it. Ew. <laughs> right, Ross looking like, ew, she's looking at me. Ew. Oh. I thought, yeah, Jax. Jax seems like the background person, and Robin seems like the star, like the head person. But I told y'all, they'll have two black girls do the most whitest song, and then they have two white girls do the most blackest song. <laughs> Like, they should have had an old nasty black song to do. And then the blonde hair she has on, <laughs> it, it, it's helping her sell, sell the deal. God dang. <laughs> she really is Jax from Mortal Kombat. I feel like Jax's mouth is not giving me lip syncing. Like, I'm looking at her and, you know, she's doing all the crazy moves. But Robin is really lip syncing and she's like projecting and like giving you like these like moments like her mouth like I'm watching her on like she's lip syncing you know yeah Robin wins Robin is killing this I don't care for the song but she really she really is doing and y'all know I don't say this much she really is giving a great lip sync like for real for real like she and it just proves once again you don't have to do all the back flips and cartwheels and back bends like now like if you can just emote and give a lip sync, that's a lip syncer. Yeah, she know that part. <laughs> I'm sorry, I would not be doing all that dancing in a hair like that. Like, it took, all, it took all the time to style that hair and then you mess it all up. Mm -mm. Shantae, you stay. Lies. Is, it, is this going to be a double? Let's... No. So she... Are you serious? No. 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 No, 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 no. <laughs> no. No shade to you, Jax. So don't think don't think I'm being shady towards you. But I am really sitting here as somebody who's watching it and I'm looking at it. Yeah, you were doing some cool moves, but Robin really sold and emoted that song. Way better. No shade, no tea. But once again, we're watching RuPaul's Drag Race, it's all buffoonery. <laughs> <laughs> Not Jack trying to force her eyes to close to cry. It's like, blink hard enough a tear come out. Yeah. So in my opinion, I don't think Robin deserved that. I really don't. I think Jax is an interesting person, but I feel like Robin is really like, at this time, more prepared than what Jax is in the long run, in my opinion. 
I really do think the lip sync was better on Robin's end. Jax didn't do bad, but I really thought Robin was more captivating. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Y'all wish me luck on this next show and stuff. And um, I'll see y'all. I guess I'm going to try to watch the next episode and have that out too. But um, we'll see. Thank y'all for watching. Stay beat. Am I saying you're right? I'm too tired. Stay beat. Stay beautiful. But most importantly, stay blessed. Kimacho or Kimochi. Bye. I'm so white and confused. Where is the manager? Where is Fubu?